Welcome to GameZone's Daily News Roundup, featuring some of the top stories from E3 this weekend. This weekend, Square Enix decided to treat us to a new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, teasing us with what we can't have quite yet. The gameplay trailer showcases the fast, fluid combat with iconic characters like Goofy and more. We also get some teases at where the story is going and what characters will be included in the game. Of course, there's still no release date, but Square Enix does promise to show more at Disney's D23 convention on July 15th. A new world and trailer will be shown off, but will we get a release date? It's been a whirlwind of news during E3 2017, but one of the more intriguing games to come out of the first press conferences is Bioware Edmonton's current project, which was teased during EA Play. Bioware Edmonton pulled back the curtain on the long mysterious project formerly known as Dylan. As Bioware described, exosuits, which are known as javelins, are the core of a lot of what you will do in Anthem. Anthem features a fully explorable open world, and as you can see from the transition from land to underwater, there are a number of different types of areas to explore. There's currently no release date for Anthem, but it will release sometime in the fall of 2018. After getting revealed to the world back in April, E3 2017's EA Play show gave us our first comprehensive look at Star Wars Battlefront 2's multiplayer in action. And boy does it look fantastic. EA delivered their promised 40 player multiplayer match that showed off the city level of Theed, which hails from Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. The game was an assault defend mode which saw the droid army of the Separatists attempt to take the capital of Naboo while the clone troopers of the Republic fought them back. That's all for now. Make sure to stay tuned to GameZone for all the latest news coming out of E3.